everyone, it is Tess, and welcome back to another speed build. Um, I've been gone for a while, I'm very sorry. Um, I am hoping to have a good time. I really like this house, and it's kind of, <laughs> not kind of, it is entirely inspired by a house that was on the back of a Lucky Charms box. It was like this little drawing, obviously, <laughs> on the box it was like all green right because it was for the leprechaun but i was like man this architecture is kind of cool like this design is fun and so i decided to do it in the sims and i felt like it would really fit uh with uh forgotten hollow i swear to god i will make every single part of this oh, sorry that was my phone i will make every single part of this um game have Tudor houses in it. Mark my words. You thought it was just Windenburg? Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I really like this house and I made it for a vampire sim who likes gardening. Um, I had this idea of almost like a vegetarian vampire kind of thing where they only eat plasma fruit, right? And I also imagined that they had a kid um, so they have a kids room, which I thought was kind of cute, and they have a library, which like, I feel like I never include libraries in my builds, mostly because I feel like it's <laughs> not that common. I'm like, oh my god, look at me not including libraries in my builds, as if everybody has them. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think they're really fun, and I think they're a cool part of the game. And I, I always like the library, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, I ended up including one in this house, and I made a little green house at back, which kind of looks jank. Oh, here it is! Um, <laughs> I did- I did not plan that. Um, I was trying to go for, like, the- the old-school Victorian vibes for the greenhouse, and I- I'm not entirely sure if I got it, just because <laughs> you don't really- the game isn't really made for that, you know what I mean? Um, it, it doesn't really support that <laughs> that kind of vibe, um, which is kind of upsetting. And I, it's partially because the, the class roofs don't work, and it's also partially just because the game is dumb. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I I fiddle with it a lot because I'm like I can make it look good. I'm I want this shape to actually work, so I'm gonna do it. And so I did. Um, oh my gosh, I'm, just, I'm so sorry. It's just so popular today, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so in here I'm gonna put some like uh, of the the growable plasma fruits, the trees, and um, they're in the little planter boxes so you can use them. And I did get them out of the debug catalog, so if you do want to download this house, the links are down below. Both, I. Yeah, to the shell and to the finished version. I was like, I don't remember if this one has a shell, actually, now that I'm saying this. But this one does, so uh, the shell and completed links will be in the description if you would like to check them out. But yes, if you are going to download it, just be sure to use the debug cheat so that nothing disappears. I use a lot of the debug um, landscaping also because that's the only good landscaping in this pack and I'm just now noticing that that window is not centered. I really hope I fix that, but I don't think I do. Um, so I apologize for that right now. I'm apologizing right this very second. Um, yikes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, hopefully I'm almost done with the outside. I just have some landscaping to do, but I want to talk about my life really quickly because I went viral on Instagram, question mark. Um, right now, what I posted, it was for a Five Nights at Freddy's reel, which is like the Instagram version of a TikTok. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's, which I know that I haven't really talked about liking Five Nights at Freddy's that much on this channel, but believe me, I do. And um, I definitely got more like back into the phase uh, with the release of Security Breach, which damn, if you want to talk about how broken a game is, like, we're always like, oh damn, the, sim the Sims kind of sucks. Like it's it's so broken, you can't even really use it. And then Security Breach is released. And it's like 
800 fucking gigabytes. Not a single one of them works. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I went viral. I have like almost 30,000 likes right now. And that's so insane. Like, uh, if any of you guys are here for that, I, I did repost some of them on here. So if any of you guys are here from that or if I'm from any of my my uh, like short form content, hi, welcome. I am a lot less funny when I'm <laughs> um, extending beyond seven seconds, but I try my best and uh, I make a lot of gaming content. Not, not too much these days, just because I am not a very consistent person. I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, the landscaping is almost done, hopefully, I think. A lot of it is debug. I actually really like this landscaping. I think it looks both, like, because I didn't want to use the dead stuff, right? Because this person literally is a gardener. That was like their only personality trait in my mind. Is it, well, not their only one, but like their main one, you know what I mean? So they can't have dead bushes in front of, that doesn't make sense. So I, I think that this landscaping really, it's really cute. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, like the, the purples and the, like it, it looks wrong. It doesn't look like normal everyday plants, but it also doesn't look like she just killed all her plants. Obviously it doesn't have to be a woman. That's just how I've been imagining this in my, in my brain. Um, but yeah, it could, it could be a single dad. That'd be cute. What a fun storyline. I feel like we don't have enough, like, single dad storylines in The Sims. Honestly, when I'm building, I don't usually have any, like, specific gender of The Sim in mind. Um, and if I do, I usually say it. But honestly, I feel like most of my things can apply to anyone. Um, but yeah, I imagine there's, like, um, a bassinet in the... The kids room baby's room i guess um but there is like some of the the to like toddler stuff so if you want to just replace that with the toddler bed uh go ahead anyways we are finally on the inside um i thought i kind of on the outside but last i did not so we're starting with the dining room which is not actually fully circular which is why i struggle a lot trying to get everything centered and not looking bad it's even worse that i picked a perfectly round table <laughs> but i it, the square ones they just weren't fitting you know what i mean so <sighs> i'm trying hard working hard out here so i was trying to go for like eclectic victorian vibes so definitely make sure oops sorry take something definitely making it fit like in the neighborhood uh very old you know vampire Duh. but also like kind of funky not quite regular definitely not scary right um i don't know i was having a good time with this house i think a lot of a lot of the choices that i made are pretty weird but i really like them i feel like playing in this house would be pretty fun um i don't know how manageable it would be there is a third floor it's a very tall house and i kind of just threw a coffin in there and some paintings for fun um, but honestly, it could be whatever you wanted. Um, it doesn't really have a use. It's above the library and it can only be accessed by a ladder. So obviously you can't put like a toddler room up there. Actually, can toddlers climb ladders? Now that I say that, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if they can or cannot. <sighs> I don't know. I thought that they couldn't. I know that like pets can't go up, but maybe toddlers can. I don't know. I don't often play with the game, if I'm being entirely honest. Sometimes, if I know something might be kind of weird about the house, I'll play test it. Um, but usually, you kind of know what's gonna work and what's not, you know what I mean? Uh, oh my gosh, I... People shit on the vampire pack a lot, you know what I mean? And I would just like it to be known that I disagree with the public dislike of vampires right it's a cool pack it's a it has such nice things like do you see that do you see that kitchen set how beautiful those counters are gorgeous you know what i mean like it's a game pack that comes with the world comes with a like kitchen stuff it comes with 
an entire like style right not just a building but also like creatism you know what i mean it, it like it's basically the the only part of the game that has a realistic victorian style and that's cool you know what i mean like that's that's a pretty niche interest and it's it's doing it and i appreciate that and I, I just i don't like when people are like oh the vampire pack sucks because like yeah a little bit but also it's kind of cool i don't know but like i don't know it's definitely a very particular pack and i do wish that it wouldn't like overflow into your random everyday gameplay quite as much but i feel like it gets too much hate for being as cool as it is and the townies man like Vladdy Daddy is an iconic part of The Sims 4, and you cannot tell me differently. I won't listen to you. You know what I mean? Like, ugh. Not many Sims 4 townies are iconic on their own, but I, I would say that Vlad is. And, I don't know. I just, I just think that people need to reconsider, because some parts of it are really cool. Like, I see people using these wallpapers all the time because they're nice. They have a good wood trim, they have some nice neutrals, and some pretty cool patterns. They're just a like pretty basic wallpaper, like the a lot of the designs, like this one has bats, obviously. So this is not really the best example, but a lot of them are just like green with like little florally or like not paisley. But like, you know what I mean, just little like swirls. And, you know, I feel like that's something that is very useful to have in the game. I like these wallpapers. I think they're nice. They're, the texture on a lot of these furniture items are gorgeous. Do you see that little, that little lounge? That's so pretty. You know, ah, I, I'm not standing for the disrespect of this pack anymore. I won't do it. I'm so upset. Anyways, in a second, I'm about to put plants freaking everywhere in this house, and it's going to be fantastic. I think I cut a lot of it out just because it was, it was a lot, um, but I, I don't know. I still feel passionately that it would be really cool to be a vampire. I mean, I, I, I feel passionately that the people are sleeping on some of these packs just because of like public misconceptions. I think they're nice. Anyways, I, I like playing with vampires and I like building with vampires. I, listen, Forgotten Hollow was one of my first completed worlds for my save file. And I feel no shame in that because it's a nice world. It's very nice. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that small rant. Um, I th yeah, I think I did cut out most of the plants. That's where a lot of the, the pack usage of this build came from. And for that, I apologize. But honestly, most of the good plants in this game are, are in packs. And like a lot of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just so many packs. And ugh. So I apologize for that. But like, look how nice that wallpaper is. That one's nice too. It's a little bit more on the nose, I'll admit, but I, mm, mm. I'll just never forgive y'all for hyping up paranormal so much and then absolutely sleeping on vampires for all these years. It's a cool fucking pack, man. Anyways, so this is kind of the the layout for the upstairs. Pretty bad, I know. It's a, it's a weird shaped house. I'm going to be entirely honest because it's like a square with a partial circle coming out the side or not really a circle because there's no circles in sims why no clue um <laughs> seems like a really weird thing to not include at all like i'm not saying that circles need to be a part of every single house but come on man give us a circle wall here and there oh also that that railing is gorgeous that is such a nice basic railing i oh i'm I am now like number one supporter of vampires. You know what I mean? Like, you know how little Simsy had her cow plant thing? I am the vampires pack leader, I guess. I don't know. I care about this strongly, as you, as you can probably tell. But 
Um, I don't know what else we really have to do other than decorate the, the bedrooms and apparently change everything else about the house. Oh, curtains. I decided that this house needed curtains. Honestly, I feel like I forget curtains in a lot of my builds, um, which it's not on purpose, but it's honestly just because I forget. And uh, for that, I apologize. But yeah, I mean, I, I definitely felt like this house needed curtains. It seems like a curtain type of house. You know what I mean? And so I decided to have some fun. Most of the ones that I used were base game just because I feel like those ones have a lot of like an older vibe in a good way, in a way that fit. It had the right vibes for this room. Also look, ugh, the library is so pretty, it's so purple. I love the colors that I get to use when I'm doing these like um, occult houses. They're so weird. <laughs> okay, here's some plants. Here's some, some plant usage. I think I cut some of this out too, but I, I don't know, sometimes just going crazy with plants brings me like the strangest joy. <sighs> Speaking of going crazy, um, the more kits that come out, the more conflicted I feel about them. If only because I feel like they're using kits to get out of fixing anything about The Sims. And that's upsetting, because The Sims is such an expensive game already, you know what I mean? And like, I know it's part, it's like, it's mostly EA, right? It's not really The Sims team. Um, excuse me, I am back. Um, I had a problem with, with my recording, and I had to fix it before it decided to wreck everything. Um, but... Yeah, so we're finally on to the bedrooms. We are almost done. Um, this one, I definitely went for like, I don't know, like manic gardener dream girl kind of thing. Very, very eclectic. I, I don't know, I really like it. I think it's so, so weird. Also, these, the I never realized how tall medium wall height is. I used to build almost exclusively with medium wall height and then I switched and now I don't think I can go back. Um, which is like, I don't know, so weird. Like I, now I look at them, I'm like, that's so tall. Why would it need to be that tall? And before I thought it was just normal. I don't know. I feel conflicted because Oh my gosh, if I had to build with tall walls right now, I think I'd literally pass out. But, um, yeah, back to the, the kit discussion. I feel conflicted. I have one right now. I have the country kitchen kit, and it's nice. I, I do like it. The stuff in it is really cute. But $5 cute? No, not really. I don't think... Um, I'm not saying I want like a refund or anything. Like I knew what I was getting into and uh, Sims is something I really enjoy and I spend too much money on on the regular, just like all of my gaming. Um, but I'm a person who does make content online. Um, so this is something that I have committed to long-term. Not everyone is like that or wants to be like that and it, not everyone is going to be willing to pay, what is it now? There's like at least 10 kits, I would say. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more, but that's like probably about $50 just for those. You know what I mean? And they just keep releasing them. And if you add on top of it, all of the, the packs that they've been releasing alongside, you know what I mean? Like especially the ones that have been, you know, broken. Like, I don't know, it's 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 just very upsetting. It's getting to the point where it's like, Sims team, EA, mostly EA, what the hell are you doing? Because like, we all knew that EA was a cash grab and they are kind of not very good to us Simmers. But also this is like, The Sims has made EA so much money over the years that I'm kind of getting tired of us being like always just getting the short end of the stick. You know what I mean? Like, it, I don't know. It's just very frustrating when people spend $20 on a game pack that 
breaks n not just the game pack is broken, it breaks your entire game. Like, what the hell? I, I know that some people have said that they haven't had any problems with it, but the fact that anyone has had such, like, the amount of problems that there has been from the very beginning, like, <sighs> it's just so disappointing. EA has so much money and they have so many people at their disposal that they could be using to not have this happen. Like, how did it happen? That's the thing. It's so crazy. Like, how, how do you let this happen? I, I cannot fathom an, a single, uh, like a single scenario where that is something that I think it would, it would be realistic, you know, and I, I just can't. It's insane. It's insane. Um, but yeah, we are almost at a close, and if you enjoyed this, I would really appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up, or share it, or subscribe, or anything. If you're more of an Instagram or Twitter person, my links are down below. You can also hit me up on Discord if you want to be friends over there. And, um, yeah, I do have some <laughs> some shorts if you want to check those out, if, uh, if you like that quick bursts of serotonin every day. I relate, don't worry, that was not a judgment. Um, but yeah, other than that, make sure to check out the links down below if you're interested in either the shell or the completed version of this house. And I hope you had a great day. Thank you so much for hanging out, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.